Welcome to Avatar Technology Digest. We provide you with the news on technology, medical cybernetics and artificial intelligence every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It doesn't really matter as today we're located at Moscow Geek Picnic, the largest scientific and popular festival in Eastern Europe devoted to modern technologies, science and creativity. And we find this location and event awesome. And here are the top stories of the last week. Scientists in Austria have created an artificial leg which allows the amputee to feel lifelike sensations from their foot. It was the first time that a leg amputee had been fitted with a sensory enhanced prosthesis. Wolfgang Ranger, who lost his right leg in 2007 after a blood clot caused by a stroke, said he feels like he has a foot again. Surgeons first rewired nerve endings in the patient's stump to place them close to the skin surface. Six sensors were fitted to the base of the foot to measure the pressure of heel, toe and foot movement. These signals were relayed to a microcontroller which relayed them to stimulators inside the shaft where it touched the base of the stump. This stimulating the nerve endings under the skin relayed the signals to the brain. The sensors tell the brain where the foot is and the wearer has the impression that it rolls off the ground when he walks. Another major benefit was a reduction in excruciating phantom limb pain felt by Mr. Renger for years following the amputation. Last year, an international team created a bionic hand which allows the amputee to feel sensations from their fingers. A simple injection is now all it takes to wire up a brain. A diverse team of physicists, neuroscientists and chemists has implanted mouse brains with a rolled up silky match study with tiny electronic devices and now it's shown that it unfurls to spy on and stimulate individual neurons. The implant has the potential to unravel the workings of the mammalian brain in unprecedented detail. Neuroscientists still do not understand how the activities of individual brain cells translate to higher cognitive powers such as perception and emotion. So far, even the best technologies have been composed of relatively rigid electronics that act like sandpaper on delicate neurons. The Harvard team solved these problems by using a mesh of conductive polymer threads with either nanoscale electrodes or transistors attached at their intersections. Each strand is as soft as silk and as flexible as brain tissue itself. Free space makes up 95% of the mesh, allowing cells to arrange themselves around it. But how do you get that into an existing brain? The team's answer was to tightly roll up a 2D mesh a few centimeters wide and then use a needle just 100 micrometers in diameter to inject it directly into a target region through a hole in the top of the skull. The mesh unrolls to fill any small cavities and mingles with the tissue. Nano wires that poke out can be connected to a computer to take recordings and stimulate cells. Monkeys may be next in line to receive successful head transplants that enable them to survive at least for a little while, possibly paving the way for similar surgery on humans. Researchers at China's Harbin Medical University, led by surgeon Zhen Xiaoping, are looking to perform the pioneering transplants on monkeys after performing similar surgery on more than 1,000 mice. During a 10-hour operation in 2013, a mouse was able to move, open its eyes a few hours and even drink some water after receiving its new head, although it was unable to survive unaided much longer. However, researchers claim to be in the process of refining the highly complex and painstaking procedure using tiny tubes to allow oxygenated blood to travel from the rodents' brains to their new bodies. While some call such experiments unethical, others believe that Dr. Jean Sarpin's research is a major step towards the long-term goal of transplanting a human head. The debate around head transplants has been long-running and dogged by controversy from questions surrounding the fairness of such animal testings to the ethical implications if a successful transplant is carried out on humans. A South Korean robotics team has won the DARPA Robotics Challenge that took place on June 5th and 6th. The challenge was the first where robots performed without being tethered and caused a lot of laughter from the crowds at the contest in Pomona, California. The contest is a battle of rabbits on an obstacle course meant to stimulate conditions similar to the 2011 Fukushima nuclear plant disaster. Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology's humanoid rabbit defeated 22 others to win the top $2 million prize from the U.S. Department of Defense DARPA Research Unit. The rabbit had an hour to complete a series of tasks such as driving a car and walking up steps. The challenge involved a series of tasks for the rabbits to complete somewhat autonomously with intermediate connectivity with the operators to stimulate real disaster conditions. Eight tasks in two days, the rabbits were set included getting out of a car, opening a door, drilling a hole in a wall, turning a valve and crossing rubble either by cleaning a path or walking over it.
Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology's team was the fastest, completing all the tasks in 44 minutes and 28 seconds. Team IHMC Robotics came second, winning $1 million, and Tartan Rescue's Chimp Robot was third, winning $500,000. And for the dessert, we have prepared the video where it's impossible not to laugh at robots falling. Please have a look. Scientists unanimously agree that artificial intelligence will outsmart us one day. But have they seen this? Because robots seem pretty stupid. Robots can't even outsmart stairs. And that is all for Avatar Technology Digest. Thank you for watching us. If you like what you see, you're welcome to subscribe, follow us on social media and join the global conversation. Take care and see you soon.